Hello, my Pisces singles. This is a reading just for Pisces singles. This is for those of you who are not thinking about anybody, but it doesn't mean that somebody's not thinking about you, okay? We're going to see what's going on for you guys. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in a personal reading, please contact me via the website or either through email if you have a problem with the website, okay? So let's see what's going on for my Pisces singles. Now, of course, you guys, this reading is not going to work for everyone. Okay, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Take out of it what you need and leave the rest where it is. Okay. All right. So first card is going to be where you are currently. The second one is going to be what you need. And the third one will be what your intentions are. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for my Pisces single friends. All right, guys, here we go. Got to stand up. Let's see. Ah. Uh, huh. We have the King of Cups there. Hmm. I feel like you're looking at somebody. I feel like there's somebody that you're looking at. So, even though you're single, I feel like there's somebody that you have in your sights. Okay? Because you are standing in... This is you standing in your true essence. Just being a loving, caring person here. But I get the impression that you guys are looking at somebody. For a lot of you. Okay? Look at that. Ten of Cups. Definitely looking at somebody. Okay, if this is not you looking at somebody and you are totally single, this is you focusing on making your home happy. Um, you could be a single parent, single mother, single father, and you could just be focusing on like the the aura that is in your household. You know, just keeping the peace. Okay, but I feel strongly this is a lot of you who are focused on somebody. All right. Yeah, your intention is to bring in this new cycle in a happy way because you're ending, you're ending something here. All right. You're ending something here. Hmm. You know, for some of you, this is you just getting out of a relationship or needing to get out of a relationship that once brought you a lot of happiness. And if that is for some of you, then this is you not feeling very good about that not feeling good about letting go but there is a need for some of you to let go of something that once brought you a lot of happiness hmm let's pull some other cards and see You know, okay, so now that we have these other cards laid out here, I feel like you're going back and forth about this Queen of Wands because there were lots of arguments between the two of you. You love this person. You love this person. You're attracted to this person. Hmm. But there's a need to leave. If there were arguments surrounding you, because this is how it's falling. Okay, you've got the Five of Swords on the other side of the Queen of Wands. 
and you've got the Ten of Cups on the top of the King of the Queen of Wands. So it makes me feel like you were in a very committed relationship, but there were lots of arguments and disputes between the two of you. And you're on defense. Because I feel like this Queen of Wands is a very fiery person that you feel like you need to defend yourself from that possibly sets, you know, some real hurtful words to you. These I mean, it can go vice versa. It could have been you doing this, okay? So there's either a need to let this go if it's not for you. Stop juggling with the idea. Or move forward with this person. So you can either end it with the Ten of Cups, because Tens are ending. You can either end it or continue with it. But know that there, there is something between the two of you that needs to be worked out. How you speak to each other. You know, how you react to each other here. Because somebody is still very defensive um, somebody also feels very hurt. Somebody's very hurt about how the communication is between the two of you here. So, yeah. Let me pull some clarifiers. You know, you guys are the only ones that I... <clears throat> I'm getting ready to pull some clarifiers for and I've done the other 11 signs already Okay, so I really want to see what this um, five of swords is about. So please show me what this five of swords is for Five of swords Five of swords Because everything else looks pretty good Let's see five of swords. Oh, okay five of swords we have the moon. There is something that I feel like was spoken here that um, was very hurtful to somebody. There, quite possibly there was somebody that um, said some very hurtful things like, you know, I don't love you. I don't want to be with you. I don't like you. I mean, those kinds of words. But of course, excuse me, mm, excuse me. Of course, a lot of times those words are spoken not because they are true, but because they're meant to hurt. They're meant to drive a dagger. Okay. Um, so I feel like there's somebody that needs to speak up and tell the truth their true feelings, to show their true feelings, to speak their true, their true feelings, you know? So there, there's something that is um, between the two of you, and I'm not sure if it's on your side or whether it's on their side, but the Five of Swords is lying next to this Queen of Wands, so I'm thinking that it's going to be up to this person, whoever, you know, spoke out of haste, and out of anger and said things that they didn't mean to um, to make this right but <clears throat> yeah yeah somebody somebody's very hurt here somebody's very hurt here they're coming out of it though by themselves because these cards are in reverse we have the ten of wands and um, the three of swords hmm they're coming out of it, but they're coming out on their own, um, whoever this applies to, okay? So, in coming out of it on their own, not having any clarity, then um, there's still a, a defense mechanism there that may kick into play if you guys come back together without actually having, if you meet somewhere, let's say, um, randomly. And um, you guys may still have this, this 
you know, harsh conversations between the two of you, okay? So keep that in mind. There's a need to either, you know, let this go, balance out this energy with this individual, you know, whether you guys reconcile and get back together in a full-fledged relationship or, you know, you decide to part ways. But um, there's something that needs to, to happen here. Otherwise, this energy is going to go into this new cycle. All right? So, Pisces, that's what I have for you for the 21st through the 27th. I'll speak with you soon.